gearbox is uh, all ready. We decided to put the high-low lever on, PTO all piece put back together, selectors on, everything seemed to be working nicely. We're about to lift it up, put it on there. We've got all that cleaned off. We're just about to put some sealant around there and then a the gasket on there because the gasket's got a tear in it. Put a little bit of grease on that shaft and then lift her in and hope for the best. Um, and then once we lift that in, we'll then sort of bring the engine around and then hopefully lift the engine on and put it in place. So the gearbox is back in. We just got to put the brake linkages on there, gear lever on there, and she's done. And then it's the engine. Went in pretty good. Do, do, do. So we just got steering box put on, fuel tank, all that paraphernalia, wiring harnesses, front axles next. And then she should be running tomorrow. Well, she's now sitting on her axle. Pins back in there. And whoop, a bit of dodgy filming going on there. I just got to tighten up that bolt there. Those ones under there are tight, so she's kind of sitting on her own axle. I just got to jack her up and get it so it goes in line. Um, and then after that, we've got to um, sort out a few other things. I've got this bolt to put in here. Um, and then we've got to tighten up um, these pieces in here because we noticed they're loose. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So tomorrow we'll be fitting starter motors and God knows what, um, depending how much I get done this evening. But uh, thanks for watching through all this. Um, I much appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And sorry that the videos are not the best, but it is quite a dark little garage we're working in. We also grooved this out a bit. Grooved it probably too much. I need to take it to there. But now we've got the belt nice and tight, so hopefully now she won't squeak as much on this. Most counties have another system that bolts on. The light's in the way. Um, that bolts on here. And then it comes out to here and then sticks out like this. And then you have a ram bolts onto there and then goes up to there. This one's been modified because those rams were buggered and the steering system was long gone. So what they did was is they've made up this plate here. This nice big solid plate here, which comes to here. And they've fitted a AgriLine um, kit one, a uh, power steering kit. So you have the pump here that bolts onto your frame and then goes up. Uh, because I converted this to an alternator, I had a problem getting about. I am going to be getting another one of these because I think I've persuaded my Uncle Mike to um, take on my other Super 4 uh, that I got. And he's going to put it onto his Major and turn it into a counter. Because it just needs a lot of work doing to it. He's restored his Major, so he likes the idea. But that's the Agri line kit there. Um, that needs to go on. I've got the steering box to go on. And all the other paraphernalia. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'd like to thank my Uncle Mike for helping me um, for what we thought was only going to be a couple of days. Turned out to be just over, well, be probably just about a week by the time we finished, five days. Um, we started on Tuesday, so this is, what, the fourth day on it. So we're not doing too bad. We've still got brakes to do, though. We have to change brake liners. We've got those kits um, right under there in that bag there. Um, so we've got to re rivet those shoes in. But thank you, and we'll catch you later. So thank you for watching. We've managed to get the battery tray on and starter motor on and a few other little bits this evening. Um, so tomorrow is a little bit of an easier job. Um, hopefully we'll get everything on, rearing and ready to go, fire it up tomorrow and see how it all works and hopefully maybe get the brakes done. Please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and give us a thumbs up and uh, share as much as you like. Uh, thank you.